What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Blade. Um, and today I got something serious I want to talk to you guys about. Something that I feel needs to be addressed. Um, you know, and this is something that I honestly got thought I was done and over with a long time ago. But, um, this is something actually pretty damn serious. Because I have had run-ins with this guy in the past. Yo, Miko, what up, man? But, um... If you guys don't know, um, this dude who lived in Japan at one point, but I guess he now lives in New York. Um, as you guys know, my stage name is Shadowwood. It was my nickname since high school. Um, it was actually given to me by my best friend, David Stone King. You know, he was one of my best friends. Known that guy since high school. And, you know, like I said, he gave me that nickname. And I didn't know what to call myself when I first started out in music. So I was like, you know, why not use my, you know, my high school nickname, Shadow Boy. And, you know, it, it stuck. Like, it stuck really well. Like, the fans loved it when I first came out with it. But this dude... Um, is an imposter. If you guys want to know, his link's up above. This guy's been messaging me on Facebook on my fan page. Telling me to take it down and do this and do that and da 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 da. Well, I told him off a while back. I'm like, look, dude, fuck you. I'm not taking it down. Like, you know, the nickname Shadowblade was given to me by a very dear friend. Well, I come to find out from one of my really good friends in Japan, who actually, he moved there just not that long ago. Um, I guess the dude was playing at a club. I don't know if he was on tour or if he was staying there and then moved here. I don't know. But, um, anyways, my buddy went to the club to see who I was playing. And the dude announced himself under my name, playing my music in that club. Because if you guys don't know, not only do I do rap and metal screen vocals, but I also do dubstep and classical compositions and stuff like that. Well, this dude had the fucking balls to fucking play my music in his cl- in the club that he was at. And I didn't know this dude had been intercepting my music and taking and playing it overseas in these different clubs. And when he told me that, I about fucking lost it. And this is just reason that this has been going on. And the guy does have a reverb nation, or at least he used to. I don't know if he still does. But, um... This guy is, he's an imposter. This guy's been pretending to be me all these years, and I'm about fucking had it. Like, I'm really fucking tired of, you know, the imposters, the fakes. Like, this is a huge reason as to why I'm not making money, is because this dude wanting to jack my shit 
and get paid from it. Like, it's really fucking ridiculous. Like, you know, I put my heart and soul in every motherfucking song I do, whether it's a rap, whether it's a melodic song, whether it's a rock ballad, whether, you know, it's a dubstep track or something like a classical composition. I put my heart and soul into every fucking track and song that I do. And for this dude to go off the wall and steal my music and play it in his clubs and him get paid for the music when it's not even his, like, that shit's fucked up. Like, you're making it hard for me to get paid doing what I do. So, yo, if the imposter's watching this right now, I got one thing to say to your little bitch ass. You best be taking your damn shit down, and you best be letting people know that that shit that you're playing at them clubs ain't yours, dude. You don't own that shit. Shout out to Ivan, dude. What up, bro? Yeah, exactly, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's got this whole concept of what Shadow Blade means, and it's completely fake. Like, it's completely bogus. Like, the name Shadow Blade, like I said, it was given to me by my best friend, David Stone King, when I was in high school. And back then, I didn't think it would actually become what it is now. Like, almost every day I've got fans sending me, like, really cool fan art and just different shit. Like, it's really fucking cool. I actually have every piece of fan art with my name that anybody's ever made and sent to me. I fucking love that shit. But, you know, I think it's really fucking stupid. Like, this dude's been doing this for so long to so many artists. And it's, it's ridiculous. Like, the guy's been busted before, but yet he's still continuing being allowed to be done with it under my name. And I'm about fucking had it because you, like, it's ridiculous. So if you're the imposter watching this, like, if the imposter's watching this right now, I want you to know that you're dishonoring yourself you shouldn't be allowed to do music. You're a fucking phony. You're a fake. You don't belong in the music industry. And you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. And not to mention you're a fucking thief. Like you're dishonoring and bring hatred towards me and my name. Like you don't know the hard work effort, the blood, the sweat, the tears that I put in to building my reputation under that name. There's a reason I have that name and I plan on keeping it. Yes, I'm going to be going under the name Dark Blade for Last Life Records, but at the end of the day, it'll still be the original name. Like, I think it's really fucking ridiculous that you ain't got the fucking balls when somebody confronts you about it to face me like a man. Every time I confront your bitch ass, you running high. Well, no more running. No more hiding. You ain't escaping. And if any of y'all want to bitch this dude out, his profile is in the description. Be sure to go up there that bitch his ass out. It's right up there in the description. Go check it out. It's right there. In the, you guys will see it. Exactly, man. And that's, I appreciate that, bro. I really do, Garrett. You know, like, I think it's ridiculous. I, 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 I should be flattered. And normally I would be. But when it comes down to it, there's a difference between, you know, creating a page and pretending to be somebody 
Like, that's one thing. I find that shit funny as fuck. But to sit there and not only create a page and claim that person's name, but to steal their music, to steal something that they put time and effort into doing every damn day. The one thing they put blood, sweat, and tears into every day. Like, what right do you have taking that shit and claiming it as your own? Like, unless it says copyright free, then you have no right touching that person's stuff. Like, I'll admit, I've done like a lot of artists do. I've gone online and grabbed some copyright free beats and used them. I've grabbed metal tracks that are copyright free and royalty free and used them. Nothing wrong with that at all whatsoever. That's what those copyright and royalty free tracks are there for to use. As for people that need tracks that don't really, you know, either you don't really feel like doing it or you can't get that style that that certain track has. That's fine. I do that all the time with tracks like that. But I also create my own as well for those that need it. Like the newest artist on Bloodshot Records, on Kill Clown Sounds, and Last Life Records. Scully. Dope ass chick. Hella good. One of the best fucking female artists I've heard in a long time. You know, she has free reign to use whatever tracks she feels, you know, she can use. As long as she lets me know and says, hey, you know, I'm going to use this track. You know, would you mind if I use it? And I could be like, yeah, sure, go ahead, you know. You have free reign to whatever tracks you want to use. You know, all my shit is at your disposal. But to sit there and claim my shit as your own, what right do you have to do that? Like, that shit's it's wrong. It's wrong, it's disrespectful, and it just you just shouldn't do it. Like, you could get in trouble for that shit. Major trouble, dude. I mean, I find it flattering that, you know, you decided to use my name. That's flattering. That's, that's hilarious. Because you're pretending to be me. You're pretending to be... One of the kings of the underground within the dubstep community. That's funny. Like that, I find that hilarious. Like you think you're pretending to be one of the best when you're not. You look my name up on Google, and all you see is DJ Shadowblade. You'll see Mystic Music, which is my original first ever YouTube channel that I started way back when. And then you'll also find my DK Customs YouTube channel. You'll find all my stuff about me on there. So all you gotta do is type in my first and last name and my name comes up underneath DJ Shadowblade and all this other stuff. So I'm the real one. So for any of y'all that see this dude or see any of his shit, report his ass. Bring his ass down. Like, I want this guy stopped for good. This guy is going way too fucking far with shit. And I've about fucking had it. Shout out to Kelly Quigley. What up? Like, you know, this dude, like, he thinks that he can, you know, bully me out of my name. Well, guess what? Not going to happen. I'm the real Shadow Blade. I'm the one that can take motherfuckers to the darkest places in their own mind and bring them back. I'm the dude that can take you and make you feel what I want you to feel. 
I can twist your mind. I can take you to the darkest places on earth and make you feel safe. Yo, thanks, dude. Um, which one did you subscribe to? Let me know which one you sub to, man. Because I have like three or four of them. I have, you know, the Bloodshot Records one. Shout out to Bratley and AK. Shout out to Ian Duxford, AK Bratley. Um, I have my DK Customs, Mystic Music. Um, I do have a new channel for reactions, which I'm trying to get back on top of. Like I did a couple of them over the last week or so, and I'm really trying to get back into that. So I'm just trying to get the app to, you know, work again on the right track. Like, it does work. It's just got to, you know, bring everything up so I can actually see what the fuck I'm doing and actually see the screen so I can actually react. But once I get that problem out of the way, I'll be doing reaction videos again in no time. But um, as for gameplay videos, I'm not going to be able to do much, like I said, due to the fact that my screen recorder is being a fucking dick, not wanting to work properly. And all that shit. But um, for those of you that want to know, I will be releasing some official Shadow Blade merchandise through Spreadshirt.com and through a couple um, other sites as well, like Dizzy Jam. I'll be doing a, you know, I'll be doing some shirts and shit like that. And on Dizzy Jam. For my fans only, for my hardcore fans out there, this is this is for you guys. This is something that you know I felt needed to be done. For all my hardcore fans out there, what I'm gonna do is for 10, 12, 20 bucks, I'll be putting some merchandise together. And with that merchandise, you will get a free download of some of my music. And some really cool Shadow Blade artwork as well. Along with some custom flame art. I'll have to check that out, dude. Because um, I am on a Chromebook, so it is a little bit different. Not much, but it is a little bit. So I'll, I'll give it a try and see what happens. But um, like I said, for my core fan base, for you guys... What I'm going to do is set up a shop on DizzyJam.com. And what I'm going to do for, like, if you want a hoodie for 40 bucks, if you want a coffee cup, a hat, a t-shirt for 10, 12, 20 bucks, you can do that. You'll not only get the merchandise, but you'll get a free download of some of my music and some custom artwork at the same time. So if it's the middle of December... And you're cold as fuck. And you don't have a hoodie. All you got to do is reach over. Grab my hoodie. Throw that shit on. Put on some of my music. And check out some of my artwork. And just chill and just vibe out. And have some coffee and just relax. And that's for you guys. My core fan base. With each item that you buy. You get a free download. Of some of my music, some of it unreleased, some of it already out, as well as some really cool artwork. Whether it's my actual Shadow Blade character that me and a couple of buddies came up with. Shout out to the guys that helped me out with that. I fucking love that. It turned out dope. Or whether it's some of my flame art. You know, I'll be doing some custom flame art work for you guys as well. And so, like, if you guys want to buy a hoodie for 40 bucks, chill out, you know, stay warm, listen to some of my music, you can do it. But to anybody out there seeing this imposter, make sure y'all shut this guy down. This guy needs to be stopped, like, ASAP. Because this dude is a major reason now. Now I know what one of the biggest reasons is as to why my music's not getting out there like it should. And it's because of this guy. 
he's sitting there, you know, intercepting my music, snagging it off the internet, like off the internet, and basically playing it at these clubs, acting like it's his when it ain't. Um, I honestly don't know at this point if he can be sued or not, man. I really don't. Um, even if he could, I wouldn't be able to because I don't have the money to do it. Otherwise, I would. I really would if I had the money. But, you know, I've been underneath this name since day one when I started out. This has always been my original name. I've got fans that I didn't even know I had. And my boy Young Fox is the one that filled me in. Shout out to Aiden, Young Fox. What up, bro? But, you know, I just think it's ridiculous that this dude has the balls to intercept my music and play it as if it's his and get away with it. Like, it's really fucking stupid. It's childish. And it just, it needs to be stopped. So if you guys, like, unless it's from me personally, and you see me post it, whether it be on Twitter, Facebook, um, I am going to be getting back on Instagram. I am going to be getting Snapchat soon. So if you guys do have Snapchat, let me know. I will be getting it very soon for this. So let me know. Yeah, I know. And believe it or not, dude, it's that way with not just my music, but my artwork as well. I've had people take my work, you know, post it up on, you know, especially like the major site, um, DeviantArt. Like, I've got major problems with guys using Photoshop. That's why you don't see me. You know, that's why I stick to doing my flame art, because if I do do my truly best work, you know, people are going to sit there and remove the watermark and shit anyway. So, why even post up my truly best artistic work? Plus, it's kind of fun doing the flame art. I got to admit, I do have fun doing the flame art. It's fun as fuck. I enjoy it. Plus, I can come up with, like, the randomest shit and it just turn out really fucking cool. But like I said, guys, unless you see it posted from me personally, like I said, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on SoundCloud, um, Reverb Nation, which I do have again, I've gotten back into my original. Right, I know, and that a lot of people are loving that. A lot of people love the flame art, so I'm kind of going on that. But you know, like I said, unless you see it posted by me, on the internet, whether it's on Facebook or whatever social media it is, you know, it's more than likely going to be fake. Like, unless it's posted by me personally, and I'll let you guys know what all my names are through all my social media so you guys know. Like, I will send you guys, like, I'll be posting, like, all my links to my social media uh, as a matter of fact, in my next live stream, which I'll probably do here in a little bit, in the next few hours, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and get all my social media together. You know, I'm going to create a Snapchat, an Instagram. I'm going to do all of that again and post it on here in the description so you guys can go follow me on all that social media, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, um, SoundCloud, you know, whatever it is, you know, so you guys know it's me. And also, if you guys don't know, I do have an app out through appypie.com, um, which I do probably need to update. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and create a new, you know, thing, like a new... App. So you guys can follow me on all forms of social media. 
Um, it will be available for free. All you got to do is, you know, send me your email. And once I'm done with the app and I'm done connecting all social media, all you guys will have to do is, you know, ask for the APK file. And I can send it to you. Like, I can send the APK file on Messenger. But if you have iOS, I'll have to send the iOS file by email. So, it, it depends on what you have. Like, if you have iOS, you'll be receiving it by email. If you have an Android device, you'll be receiving it via APK on here. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm not sure when the app will be releasing because, you know, I do have some other stuff going on. You know, as you guys know, I am actually competing in this year's um, CSR um, drag racing tournament. I'm actually with um, one of the top teams on there that my brother Brett owns, which is the Undisputed Kings. We're doing really good, man. We're getting up there fast. So, you know. But uh, with that being said, guys, I am going to hop off here. Because I do have some stuff to take care of. And I will see y'all later. Peace.